welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, afternoon, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I had another little round of snow last night. Wasn't much to speak of. Girls thought they were going to get off school today, but that didn't pan out. They had a two-hour delay instead, so... Their father picked them up this morning and took them to school, and I've been looking at this video card, something new, come into the shop. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a low-profile video card. It was in a system that I had built, uh, oh, I don't know, several years back. I think I gave it to my granddaughter, and then she uh, moved out, and I think it ended up uh, went to my grandson maybe for a while. And anyway, my son-in-law had it recently and said he was having a problem with the video. I guess it wasn't uh, displaying on the monitor, and uh, the uh, problem seems to be this little fan motor. It's just you can barely turn this thing. These things are supposed to spin real free, and uh, they're cheap as I'll, I'll get out. So that goes in there like that. And what I'll have to do is find another video card um, to replace this one. I, I don't think there's any chance of I might I might be able to find a, another fan like that, but uh, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for that. Um, I have a lot of. Uh, these same video type video cards that are passively cooled instead of actively so I'll just find another one of those and put it in there I've got to reinstall windows on it uh, and it was one of those uh, computers I had as a Hackintosh I'm just gonna put windows on it because I know he doesn't use Mac uh, software so get that done and uh, that's next on the agenda I've got a I'll work that on that probably over at the bar here, so actually I don't have really enough room to work on a computer here. I mean I can work on it alright, but then I have nowhere to hook it up. If I had a monitor maybe, you know, somewhere on the thing, I, I might be able to do that. You know, save those little screws. Those little screws always come in handy for this or that. Uh, this I am uh, working on. I, had, I did come up with a plan on how to, to uh, figure out if the uh, problem was on the tube side, if that's where the, uh, uh, not stickiness I'll say, just for lack of a better term, is coming in, or if it's on the, the side where you plug the probe into, because there's a series of resistors that it goes through, and basically it comes around here, and this wire here, let's see, hold this up a little bit. Uh, this wire here and comes to this resistor here. This is a 3.3 meg ohm resistor and that goes over to pin 2 of the 12 AU7 and that's where the actual um, unbalancing part of the meter comes in. Um, I had thought about just taking this off and measuring the uh, voltage here when you plug in something and I watch it see if it goes down you know as soon as I, I let the voltage off it should, both circuits should go down almost instantly. Uh, it should let the, the needle fall. And that's going to tell me, if I do that, that's going to be able to tell me if the problem is in the meter or the tube circuit or in this, this voltage divider circuit. So that's the plan on that. Uh, I was hoping to get to that today, but I'm not sure where this computer came in. Uh, I want to get that done, get it out of the way, get, get an operating system installed back on it. And I'm kind of hoping it will update to Windows 10. And be, I'll be done with that one for a while. So that's the plan. Um, don't know how well it's going to come out. But like I say, I did, I did think about just doing the, the tube circuit and putting a voltage, the same voltage that would be normally appear when I, I plug something in, like if I plug a... Uh, try to measure this 9 volt battery there's a certain amount of voltage that will appear here on this tube um, pin and I thought well if I disconnected here and just put that much 
voltage on there, then I should have the same basic. Um, and if the meter, you know, if I, when I pull the voltage off, if the meter doesn't go back down like it's supposed to, then the problem is here. But uh, it was brought up uh, by someone on the electronics, uh, antique electronics forum, antique radio electronics forum, um, that uh, I need to have this balanced, which uh, I did with the other meter by putting a 10 mega ohm resistor across there and, and proved that the uh, meter did balance and the tube was fine. And so I, I would need to do that, put a 10 mega ohm resistor going to ground here and then maybe apply the voltage and see what happens. So if I don't get any satisfaction by taking this, this wire off and, and checking the voltage here, then I probably will do that. But uh, that's, uh, I don't know, that's what I'm going to try and see. Um, I think that's the easiest, just take this wire off and it's easy to put back on if it uh, doesn't pan out. So I think that's what I'll be doing, and, and when I do that, I'll bring you back and show you. But uh, it it may be tomorrow before I get that done. I want to get this computer done and get it out of my hair. So I guess that's all I have for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.